Literally. Everything including the kitchen sink. Got this huge pile of scrap that I've been working on for a good part of the day. It's like a house demolition or something like that. Water heater has copper on it. Phew. <laughs> These I beams, though, like this one right here. This is uh, that's just too heavy for me to even lift. Where am I gonna put that? Some of these have to be cut down. I'll let the I'll let the demo guys cut that down to at least seven feet. <clears throat> Leave it for another scrapper. You know, with the price of scrap so high, it wouldn't make sense to leave it for another scrapper, but but I think we'll just cut it. That would pain me to leave it for another scrapper. Make sure we're in a hurry to tear this place down. Look at that. Every appliance is smashed. Save some room for uh, some scrap scrapping tonight. I come back to this in the morning or something if it's still here. It's just just outside of downtown Joliet, so it's at kind of like a high risk of another scrapper discovering it. It's slightly secluded. But not enough where you can't see it. Of course, I'm not going to show the background. The king will just show the ground today. I'll make sure when they, uh, yeah. <clears throat> no, I'm just pulling your leg. No trespassing and nobody's allowed on the property. I'm as you can tell in my voice, I'm tired. I've been going all day. When did we become a society? Shows shows are every last little thing that we're doing. You know, right? Why do we insist on showing every last little thing we do? This is kind of weird when you think about it. Yeah, I gotta save some room for uh, scrapping at the curbside tonight. Why do I want to miss out on curbside scrapping if I fill my truck up? That thing, that's 20 feet long. 
that's a problem. And they're really heavy. I might be able to get, might be able to load this one on myself. <laughs> if they don't get cut off, they're going to be stuck bringing one or two to the scrapyard at a time. That's the problem, too. All the fuel used. That's the downfall to, uh, or the downside to like working by yourself is uh, kind of limited. Ooh, I wanted to say one other thing too. I wonder how many scrappers get uh, killed actually or seriously injured getting impaled by rebars or things you don't see sticking out of the ground or attached to like stuff like this almost immovable objects where there was a couple of uh, rods of steel that were welded on there and I yeah I stumbled on I don't know on the ground and I've seen like a, a welded piece sticking out trying to find one just to demonstrate or show you know not demonstrate for real but <clears throat> Demonstrate King fall on it. <laughs> There's a bee. I have ADHD, in case you didn't notice. Yeah, well, anyway, I found like several of them and I snapped them off. And now. Only now, then I start thinking, oh, I should have made a video of it. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, well. Not that important. As you can tell, it was a mobile home. It was. Or as the British call it, it was a caravan in a caravan park. What? A caravan? Well, I guess camper sounds weird too, because camper, camper sounds like a person, which in American English is a person or a thing. It's like both. For example, and I don't need to give an example. Did you just buy that brand new Winnebago camper? Or. Are you a happy camper inside the Winnebago? Ha 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 I'm stupid. Okay, look at the way you're picking through that. I know, I'm making a video. Look at that chunk of iron. That's gotta be a couple hundred pounds and so is that thing, at least like a gigantic anvil or something. Send it to Cruiser Mac. Can you imagine how much that would cost? I still have to send that guy with some beer signs. <clears throat> Six months waiting. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. I'll get to it. Eventually. One of these days. I haven't forgotten. Matter of fact, they're still sitting in my garage without cords because I remember somebody cut the cords off. I'll let him have it. Installing cords. Besides, he probably wouldn't trust my low quality work. So how much y'all think is here in total? Probably a good what? Eight hundred dollars worth of steel laying on the ground.
know, there's broken glass and everything around here. Let's see, somebody like Ro... What, what is that guy's real name? Romantic. He wouldn't leave here with, without at first snapping that piece of copper off. Uh, King, you must be rich. No, actually not. I'm so damn lazy I won't even... <laughs> no, that's not the case. I don't know. Tired, man. Yeah, I'm kind of tired. I just don't want to, I don't know. I don't want to keep going. Besides, this scrapper right here wants to leave some real estate up there to uh, collect stuff at the curbside. If I can. I need to take a nap. <laughs> no, I just didn't in time or something. Recharge my batteries for about an hour. Go back out there. I've been going all day. It's up like during the middle of the day with a UV index of an 8 and it was 90 degrees. I took a siesta. <laughs> Who wants to work when the sun is like straight up and down, blazing down? If you could just put it off, there's no boss really kicking my butt telling me, hey! Well, there is kind of. I mean, this has got to be gone. Or they're just going to give it to somebody else. So I'm my own boss. And maybe I should fire me if I don't get this, like, what? About 800 bucks worth of scrap. Imagine that? That's like... That's like more than a week's pay for a lot of people. Like, that's like two weeks. Two weeks pay for a lot of people. Half a month. Sitting right here. Right here. Okay? Half a month's pay. Laying on the ground right here. And I'm going to walk away from it. Because I don't have enough room on my truck. Get your big truck ready. Well, we're working on it. One inch at a time. That's not fast enough. I know, right? I can't watch you anymore, King. <laughs> I had to turn the video off. Yeah. Okay. Oh well. I'm sorry. I apologize. I can't stand it. What? That other commenter. I can't do it because it's a female, and she's from. She's from that island, Tanzania. <laughs> she's from Tanzania. <laughs> no, she's from Tans Tasmania. But I'll make fun of her. She's from Tanzania. And uh, I'm looking at the comments in the Mr. Scrappity video, and he's like, she's like, at least you load your, wait, that's a male voice. Well, maybe she is a male. Who knows? <clears throat> she says they. Or. Or something. She says something. Anywho, can't remember her name. Or his name, or they name. See the commenting all the time, though. At least you load your truck. Who gives a shit? I'm 300. I'm 300 fucking pounds, bitch! <laughs> Actually, 
actually were 322 pounds. I ain't, I ain't gonna end up like all these other Gen Xers with like broken knees and knee replacements and all this other crap. <clears throat> By like climbing up and down this truck. You're complaining, King. Nah, I'm not complaining, kids. I'm explaining. These morons. Hello. Oh well. Sucks to me, me, right? I'm the one making the $800. You're the one watching the video. <laughs> Listen to me complain. Uh, I could get my superhuman. King, you should rent a U-Haul. Uh, 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 oh. There's so many people moving out of this state. It's crazy. You can't. You have to uh, schedule an appointment for the large U-Hauls. I'm serious. Uh, and besides. I don't know. I'm sick and tired of like cleaning them out and then you gotta return them. I only rent one if I'm really desperate. And I'm not desperate enough. So I'm not gonna rent one. And I'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. You're complaining again, King! <laughs> yeah, okay. And I think most of my regular subscribers that comment all the time are just awesome. And if you never comment, go ahead and comment. Write me a novel. <laughs> like that one dude did. How much did I make off of that? Like $20? <laughs> See you in the next video.